Um, on my last run, um, to be honest, yeah, I, I can't even remember half of the run. Like, my mind was blank, but we always have our steers in our head, and I knew exactly what I was going to do, and what I had to do in each corner to get down, and, and, and yeah, I mean, halfway down, and I can't even remember how I got to the bottom, and I just got off my, off my sled, and I was like, oh, what, what happened then? So... Yeah, again, I think when you're kind of in the moment, in the zone, I just kind of, it just all came naturally. How old were you when you started the skeleton? Um, I started skeleton about eight years ago. So, yeah, I was 18, about that. So, um, yeah, and, and uh, I did athletics beforehand and, and then started, started skeleton. So it's taken me eight years to get here. It's a long time, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't just happen. Does Although it's been quite quick. It's like a quick eight years in a strange way. Yeah. Um, what, how did you feel when you were at the top of the track? Went down it. How did I feel? Uh, I was nervous. Um, and I knew my legs felt quite nervous from my, my pushing. And I, I felt quite tense. Like where you ripped off the coat. <laughs> but um, yeah, at the same time, I like... I was just there to enjoy it and I didn't really feel like I had much pressure anymore because, you know, I, I was just wanting to go down and have fun and it was the Olympics and I just, I just took a deep breath and, you know, just went down. I didn't think about it anymore. What's your best hateful memory? Oh, that's oh, a Oh, I don't know. Most people my lessons. Yeah, it's obviously no. Mrs. Young's <laughs> lessons. I think, you know, doing all the sport and playing hockey matches on mm -hmm. grass and yeah. Yeah. I think things like that, you know, netball hockey. Yeah, I mean, part of the school bus going off to do, you know, a race or a competition. Mm -hmm. I think. Have you ever had a bad injury? Bad injury. Um, we do get quite a lot of bruises. Um, I've, you know, hurt my neck if I've hit or twisted and come off funny. But apart from that, I've been lucky not to really injure myself. I mean, all athletes obviously have injuries, but I've been very lucky just to come away with a few bruises. What got you into the sport of the skeleton? What got me into it? Um, I think I'm very lucky that at Bath we've got our push track, which is where we practice our start. So um, sprinting and pushing a kind of different design sled that we could practice here without the ice. So I, I had to go on that and then kept going and then went on to the ice. Because you were doing the, the athletics up yeah. there at first. So yeah, so doing the athletics club and being part of a, you know, an athletics club doing races and sprints and you know, the start is very important to be quick at the start. So. Just slowly progressed into it. Um, when you were younger, what did you enjoy your PE lessons? Yeah, she has to say that. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I did love PE lessons. It was great not to be in a classroom. <laughs> yeah, what was your favourite sport at school? Favourite sport? I enjoyed everything. I mean, athletics was always probably my favourite. Sprinting and running. That's what I've been telling everyone. Yeah, that's true. No, it is true. That is true. Yeah, no, obviously I always liked, liked running and sprinting as fast as I did. During your training, did you ever expect to win a gold medal? Well, my training, my Olympic training, so we have six months before the race, and the first day, you know, it didn't go quite as well, and I was in about 13th place, which I was a bit disappointed with. Um, but then I was always roughly in the top three, so I kind of knew if I kept it up and could keep consistent, but I never really dreamed that I would get one, no. But you know, you have to believe it. You have to believe it. it's a fine line. Yeah, I mean, it? having self-confidence and belief in yourself is yeah. massive, but, and I'm not yeah. generally very good at that really, but... Um, Maybe for me it worked to my advantage in the end, yes. but no, you know, I was confident in that sense that I had the good result and good runs and I was like, I know I can do this and piece it all together, keep everything consistent yeah. and the same. So, and again, it's the same thing, just working on your process goals and not, not thinking about the outcome and doing everything you need to do to get to there. Mm. Do you think our new sport school will encourage more students to do sport? I hope so. Yeah, um, it's great to have you know more money into the sports and to build a new pool and 
you know, I think that's great for all of you guys just to get in there and do as much as possible. Would you be willing to cut the ribbon to open on your belt? I would be honoured to cut the ribbon, yes. yes. <laughs> if I was to ask, yeah. no, it would be great. This is my old school. It's a bit different, doesn't it? Have you seen the whole? I don't think I've walked in this school since I left. No. Only in the bottom. Most probably haven't is. seen the wonderful build yet. No, it's the whole of it. It feels really strange to be back. Yeah. 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 Distant memory. <laughs> Are we done? Yes, we are. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Amy, could I ask you one quick question? Would you mind? Amy, how much do you hope that you, you inspire the children? Here? Yeah, I mean, being here in, in the school with all the girls here and just hearing, you know, obviously of their new sports hall, I really hope that, um, you know, it can inspire all the girls to realise that I was sat here in the school and doing school yeah. PE lessons and, you know, all the athletics matches and hockey and... You know, hopefully it will spur them all on if they want to go to the Olympics just to train hard and work at it. And also, personally, you've made much of the facts, haven't you, that you're not the most outgoing, but you are quite shy. It just shows anyone can do it if they push themselves, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, you just train hard and go to the gym and do your sprint training, you know, everything that you need to do to, you know, be good at the, your chosen sport. And, you know, this is something that comes afterwards, obviously, and, you you know, you don't sort of go come into sport to be... You know, a kind of someone on TV. You do it because you love it, and, and I think that's the most important. And that will, that's what keeps you going and, and training hard because you love doing it. Thank you very much.